Hey guys, it's Carl here. In this student spotlight, I'm going to help Nicola learn how to do some fast alternate picking on some muted strings in songs like One by Metallica. Um, he seems to have some issues with that, and I think I see some things that I could help him out with. Before we get to it, please subscribe to this channel, and even if you are subscribed, click on the notification bell so you'll know whenever I release a new video, and please submit your own student spotlight video at my website. You'll see the link in the description. All right, so here's Nicola's video. At the moment, I'm learning one, uh, Fight Fire with Fire and Disposable Heroes by Metallica. In all three, I have the same problem with uh, alternate picking with palm mute, so if you can help it out, I'll be really glad. Thank you in advance. So this is the riff. <laughs> Seems like everybody wants to play fast. See, most of these student spotlight videos are like, I want to play fast, I want to play fast. I get it, I, me too, I do, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so, let's talk about this speed. Now, um, your right hand technique, obviously this is where you're having the issue at, when you're doing the, you said the, the one, right? <laughs> All right, so um, now, what is going on in your hand is you have, uh, I, I talked about this before, you have, your technique is a little tight. So, and I, I can tell you why. First, you can see that your fingers are just straight out like this. Now, you can't do that unless your hand is really stiff. And you're, you're almost locking your wrist. And from that, you're getting the movement from your elbow. All right, so it looks like this. I can't even do it at all. So I guarantee you if, you, if you pay attention to it, you're gonna feel that it's coming from your elbow. You're probably flexing your bicep. Um, and this, that part of your body should have nothing to do with the pick stroke. So what you want to do instead is a couple things. When you see James Hatfield play, he has an extremely light touch, and he also uses a very economical and relaxed picking technique. Now, the way you want to focus on this picking technique is first, you got to let you got to relax that wrist. You can't have your fingers spread out. You want to relax and have like a balanced hand. The movement should come from like uh you're almost it feels like you're doing small rotations of your forearm and your wrist together. So it's coming from the wrist, but it's kind of like a if you're if you were just gonna do like in midair, I always tell people it's like if you're gonna pretend that you're freezing, and you're 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 kind of getting that little buzz in the hand. That's what it is. Now the it, when, the lighter you hit the strings when you're properly palm muting, the bigger it sounds. When you hit really hard, it sounds a bit clanky, um, and it kind of because the 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 strings are just getting thwacked, you know? The power comes obviously from the tone, but it comes from a light palm mute here, and then it comes from a very light motion. So I'm barely hitting the strings. I am barely hitting them very lightly. Now this riff allows you to kind of relax because you get to hit that little core tone in there, the, the little uh, power chord. So what I'm doing is I'm using a very light touch and the movement, I'm kind of planting, this arm, forearm is planted here, so it's kind of eliminating the elbow getting involved. So I can isolate this part of it and then If I dr dramatize it a little bit, come off the strings with it, just so you can see it. And 
also, when you're doing stuff like that, it could be anything like a little bit of pick movement in there helps you get through the string. They call it circular picking. I'm not picking directly across. I'm kind of picking in a little circle. It's kind of like a, a little tiny motion, if you can see that on the camera. So it's one of those feel things. But one thing that, that I can say is the movement should not come from the elbow. You should not be locking your whole for, your wrist and forearm. Relax the hand. Watch James Hetfield's hand. It's just so relaxed. And, and, he, and he use, when he hits the strings, it might look like he's because he's doing the big rock face that he's killing the strings, but he's not. He's hitting very lightly. And he also stays very relaxed. So focus on that motion, almost like find a very small motion, just barely get through the string and then come back. Instead of these bigger motions in your hand, really just, you can see that I barely leave the area of the string and you can do that by just kind of circling the string, cir uh, circling the string a little bit. See how I'm doing that. But eliminate the elbow, eliminate the tension, lighten up how hard you're hitting the strings, and find the spot. Just, just sit there for a little bit and just practice that. Get a nice solid mute. And then just find it. Like you can just find a little circular motion that you can do here. And then it, that along with it, just a slight rotation of your wrist and forearm. And nothing's moving back here, all right? So more economical movements, much more relaxed, and I think uh, you'll see some improvements very, very quickly. It's amazing that you can get it as fast as you can with that uh, tension that you have. So if you just relax a little bit, you're going to be a monster. You're going to have a monster right hand. All right, I hope to see it. Send me another video when you've got that monster right hand.